Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial. In today's tutorial video I'm going to show you how to correctly place and rotate a layout drawing that we might have received from some third party. Okay so what I have on the screen is a layout of a township area um, which needs civil services to be designed which is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to take the point of view as the draft person or the CAD operator and pretend that we've received this file from a town planner or from another consulting engineering firm or maybe from um, an architect, heaven forbid. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this drawing. Well, the first thing I notice is that everything is blue. And straight away that tells me that this drawing has not been created according to my or to our particular drawing standards. So that's something that you'll have to fix up at a later stage. The other thing that I can tell from this drawing by looking at the grid is that there seems to be something wrong with the way the grid is constructed. So here my Y axis is horizontal, my X axis is vertical. That's not what I expect to see. We know that the Ys um, typically run in a north-south direction and the Xs um, in a west to east direction. So my drawing is not correctly rotated. It seems to be off by about 90 degrees just by looking at it. The other thing that I can notice uh, when I look at this particular drawing, or something I should check rather, is if the scale of the drawing is correct, is it at the right size? Well, I can use the grids for that. Notice that this grid is 45,600 uh, and this one is 45,800. So there's supposed to be a 200 meter distance between these points. So let me go ahead and check that quickly, measure. And when I measure, I see that there's actually a 400 meter distance between these two points. So I know then that the drawing is incorrectly rotated and also incorrectly scaled. Now is it in the correct position? So let me have a quick look um, at one of these points here and what I'm going to do is uh, I want to have a drawing utility. I want to ID a point. And if I ID this point here I see that it's 46541 and 45268 which doesn't align any close to these coordinates. So the drawing is incorrectly rotated uh, incorrectly scaled and is not positioned in the correct place. So this is not going to help me at all from a drawing point of view. So we need to go about correcting this, getting this drawing correctly placed and rotated and ready for any design or drawing work that I would need to produce from my design office. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I have noticed something in the bottom left hand side of my screen. These are where the coordinates are and you can see that I have a rather clumsy looking set of coordinates here. So I'm going to start off by fixing that so it looks like something I recognize. I want to see it in meters. So I'm going to go to the format command, format, units, and this dialog box pops up. And I'm going to check decimals, precision, for length I want to fix it at 3. For uh, the angles I'm going to set it at 4 leave it in meters and make sure this is not checked. We don't want that checked. I'm going to say, okay. Notice now that my drawing units are in meters. Um, notice that AutoCAD writes X and then Y. That's its convention, X and Y. But we know from surveying that we are, when we read this, we read Y and X. Okay, so we can see straight away that wherever this drawing is positioned, uh, where my cursor is that the coordinates are incorrect, certainly in terms of sign convention. Alright, so let's go about getting this drawing scaled, orientated and correctly placed, all of the above. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the align command. Align, so what I do is I type in the command align, A-L-I-G-N, did I spell it correctly? I don't think so. Let's try again. A line, there we go, there it is. And I simply select all the objects on the drawing. And then I specify the first source point, which is going to be this point over here. You can choose any one where you know what the coordinate is. And now I'm going to type in the coordinate for this point, and it's going to be y first, so minus four, six, eight hundred, comma. Four, five, six hundred. Enter. 
Now I go to a second source point and I'm going to go to this opposite point over here and I do the same thing. I type in the coordinate of this point and I start with the y's. It's minus four six four hundred comma four five eight hundred. Is that correct? That's correct. Enter. Now I can put in a third point. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to type enter. Do I want to um, scale the objects based on alignment points? Yes, I do want to do that. And something has happened. Okay, so let me have a closer look at this drawing. When the little blue circle of death eventually stops spinning. Good, let's have a look. First of all, let's look at the coordinates at the bottom left hand side of the screen. So my y's are negative, which is what I wanted. My x's are positive. If I ever look at my drawing, I see that my y's are in the vertical axis, which is correct. So 4, 6, 800. And here I have 4, 6, 600. So these are negative. So it's meaning the coordinates are getting um, big, uh, bigger as I move to the right because these are negative numbers um, 46600 is bigger than negative 46800 so that's not what I want let's look at the x's 45600 and 45800 okay so this drawing basically now is upside down well how would I go about rotating this drawing now to make sure that it may be north is facing up which is maybe a convention that I'd like to use well I can simply use the UCS follow command which is something we've used before so let me type in the UCS follow command, UCS follow. And I see that my UCS follow command is already on. So I'm going to type in one just to make sure that it's on. Okay, now I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. UCS, enter, Z, enter, 180. And the drawing effectively spins around. Okay, so having applied the UCS follow command, I can check my coordinates and I see 45,800. If I go up 45, 600, so my X's are getting larger as I move down downwards, which is what I want to see. Let's check the Y's. Um, minus 46, 400. I'm expecting to see minus 46, 600. Yes, my drawing is correctly orientated. Let me check the um, distance between the points quickly for this particular drawing. I remember I wanted this to be 200 meters. Uh, let's just make sure it's nice and square. Can we get it square? Let's just check. Yes, 200 meters exactly, which is exactly what I wanted to see. Good, so it looks like my drawing's fine. <coughs> Let me check a coordinate quickly. I'm going to um, utilities, ID point, and if I click on this point. I see 46,400, which is my Y, and 45,800. What is wrong though? Notice that. The X's and Y's are, sw are supposed to be the other way around. So X is my Y and Y is my X. But notice that the negative is missing in front of the, the 4 here. So the signs here are swapped around. Let's do a second ID point just to be sure that everything is correct. Utilities, ID point, this one here. And uh, 46,800 for my Y and my X, 45,800. Perfect. So scale, orientation, everything is bang on. It's correctly where it's supposed to be, except I have this problem with the signs. Okay, so the way to get around that, uh, actually, let me first say we forgot to check the UCS follow. So let's go, you have to switch the UCS follow command off. UCS follow. Uh, did I even spell it right? I don't think so. Uh, we want it to be zero. Okay, so the UCS follow command is now sorted out. Now, how do I go about getting these signs to be the correct way, minus and plus here? Well, I type in UCS, enter. Uh, okay, well, let's try that again. UCS, enter. Uh, world is already world is already specified. That's what I'm looking for. Enter. Enter. And there we go. That should be it. World, enter, enter. okay there we go all right so apologies for all that entering but we seem to have achieved success minus and plus let's go check our um, 
id point function quickly i click here minus 46 400 and plus 45 800 yes everything is correctly orientated drawing is correctly scaled and the coordinates are reading correctly well that's what i wanted to show you this morning or today i hope you find that useful it's going to be extremely useful for your exam or for your tests and for day-to-day -day work in a design office thank you so much for watching